So today I want to review probably one of the best IB Maths resources out there, and that is Revision Village. Now I have already done a Revision Village review video on my channel. Again, you can check that out over here, but it is a little bit out of date now. There's been lots of changes at Revision Village that you really need to be aware of. So I'm gonna go through a lot of the new key features that have come out on Revision Village. One of those things, of course, is they've actually got an app version now, so you can access that either on Apple Apple or on Android and it's really going to advance your mathematics and really get you those top grades that you deserve as well. So let's have a look at all those new exciting features and let me go through that one at a time for you. Okay, and let's go through all these very exciting new features on Revision Village. It feels like my old video is an age ago compared to what actually is now on Revision Village. So if this is the main page here, so as we go onto the homepage and we're going to be looking at AAHL as our example here. So if I go to subject, and we go to AAHL, you can see we've got the question bank like we had in the previous video and key concepts and practice exams, but we've got the boot camps, which we're going to talk about later, and a lot of extra features have been added within the math section. Now, of course, there are many different subjects. If I go back to the beginning here, that are now covered. So I'm going to focus on mathematics, but we've also got science, individual societies, English and language B, and Revision Village are releasing an offer where you can get the whole entire suite now for $499. So that might be something you want to consider if you're doing all these different IB subjects. But from here, I'm going to be focusing on IB maths and specifically the analysis and approaches higher level. So we're through to the main page here and we'll go through these features one at a time. So we have question bank, practice exams, key concepts, past papers, and the boot camps. And I'll talk briefly about the flashcards as well. So we'll start in order. So we'll start with our question bank here and a lot of different things have been added here. So you can see as before, we've got topic one, two, three, four, and five and calculus. But we've also got a new section called a paper three question which I'll talk about uh, in a moment. But if I just choose one of our sections here, so let's choose the number in algebra, and let's choose binomial theorem here and go to open study, because the question bank, which has always been the core element of Revision Village, has had quite the upgrade. So we've got our questions here. The first thing here is you can actually filter by paper one, paper two, and paper three, which is really useful if you want to filter just for those non-calculator questions, or you want to filter just for the calculator questions or those really difficult paper three questions if they exist. So remember some topics, again, lend themselves better to paper three than others. Again, but they've got a nice question here on binomial theorem for paper three, for example. Again, you can filter like before by easy, medium, and hard. If you want to practice some of the easier questions, build that confidence or go into the hard questions. One really useful thing to look at here is the go to question section. So you can actually go to specific questions and you can see it's actually color coded by green, amber, and red. So again, you can make sure you go through those questions. As you go through, again, you can check off that you've done it. So you can go mark as complete, which is really useful. So you're not repeating the same questions. As before, we've got a detailed mark scheme um, for the different questions, the video solutions. Again, that was there before. And we've got AI feedback, which is a really exciting tool. So say you're trying to do this particular question, um, you can actually type in your answer here. Now you've got an upload image, which saves a lot of time because a lot of you, you'll be writing these answers on paper. You can just take an image, upload it, and then it will actually read your solution and give you feedback on it. If you did want to type it in, however, you can actually use the handwrite math, which is really useful. So you can actually write in the math here, or you can use the type math, so the usual keyboard idea as well. And again, really useful here, you can have all the different symbols that you're used to from the IB course. So again, you can even use the Greek symbols as well uh, when it's appropriate. And it's really nice because then you get the feedback and then you can check with the RV Newton to see how you got on with that. So you're getting extra feedback on that as well, which is fantastic. So you're getting the feedback, but you're also getting the IB star questions. It's always been a hallmark of Revision Village and why I've recommended it to so many students over the years. So it's a really good feature. Again, we've got a question bank here, but it has significantly been upgraded. You can even give feedback to Revision Village themselves. You can um, give them a thumbs up or a thumbs down on the question if you particularly like it or particularly dislike it. So that's helpful for their feedback as well. So if we go back to the question bank, so 
if we go back and talk out about paper three. I know that's always been a big topic when I've talked about IB in various podcasts and interviews. Uh, paper three always comes up because it's always a tough paper and very unpredictable. So the way that Revision Village are helping you with that is you can actually filter through by topic one, two, three, four, five, and actually look at specific paper three questions. So if we load, load up here, for example, a paper three question. Again, when you actually look at the mark scheme, and this is a really nice improvement, um, you can see they've got the question here and they've got the answers side by side. With things like paper two and paper three questions, it's quite, it, it can get lost in the particular question. Then you can keep uh, track of the question as you're going through as well. So a nice little feature, underrated feature, uh, something to be aware of. Right, let's move on to the next section. So we go back to our homepage, AAHL. We can then look at the practice exams. Again, they've always been very, very useful because one thing that students have struggled with, particularly at the start of the course, is, oh, actually, I don't have enough practice of genuine exam questions. So like before, they've got topic quizzes, so you can test yourself, revision ladder, and the mock exam papers. These are useful features, and they have prediction exams as well when they get released. Uh, what I'd like to focus on is if we go down to the past papers themselves, there's been a couple of new features that you need to be aware of. So let's just choose a random paper. Let's choose 2023 time zone one. Uh, one thing to be aware of is they've got a video solutions for each part of the sub question for this particular past paper. What's really useful and underrated, say you're really struggling with vectors, for example, which are uh, well, AAHL students, that's one of the subjects they really do struggle with. You can actually filter through by vectors. You can find the specific vector questions on this paper. So here it's question 12. If I go then to uh, paper two, for example, are there any vectors questions on here? Okay, there is only one question, question eight. So you can find the subtopics very, very quickly on past papers, and then you can then practice those skills. So it's a very nice a very nice feature that they have added. And again, you've got specimen papers here and all the past papers up to date, which is really, really useful. Okay, let's go on to our next feature here. If you're liking this video, by the way, and you want more IB content, then please do like and subscribe to the channel. Again, I'm hoping to bring out more IB content, specifically SLAA is currently what I'm working at. And your feedback is really useful in that. So, if we now have a look at the boot camps, which is a really useful feature that's been added. So this is completely new compared to my previous video. Um, let's choose calculus as our example, and then we'll choose a subtopic of that. Let's just go with differentiation. Uh, you'll see they have these very detailed courses on particular topics that students struggle with. So for example, if we just take differentiation itself here, again, looking from first principles. So you can see they've divided differentiation to six subtopics. So they're really honing down on the skills that you need. First principles is something you need for HOAA. And so you need a good understanding of that. And you'll see that they go through a description of that and go through where the actual H formula comes from. And then they have a playlist. So if I just close this window down for a minute, they have an introduction video and an introductory question, which is really good. So you can actually, you're practicing this particular topic as you're going through. So one thing that was an issue before is you're often having to search different parts of Revision Village to get a practice on a specific topic. So say you missed first principles at school, maybe you were ill for a week and you missed that particular topic. This is fantastic for catching up on that and then just working your way through, going through this workshop, checking your understanding as you're going through through and watching these videos and looking at the conclusion here afterwards. So this is a really useful way of catching up on specific topics. Again, it's obviously working with your teacher at school and saying, oh, I missed first principles. Or I missed how to do McLaren series. Uh, can I catch up on this? Yep, there's a boot camp for this on Revision Village. And then you can catch up on it, which is really, really, really helpful. Okay, so useful thing to be aware of. Uh, flashcards are also very useful. So let's just go to an example here. Let's look at sequence and series. We haven't looked at that so far. And you can actually go through these kinds of questions to check your understanding of the fundamentals that you need for this. So if we go to this, for example, you've got your card. Again, they've got the answer A, B, C, D. 
you click on answer and you go on to the next card. This is a really good way of doing quick revision, making sure that you've got the fundamentals. So often students struggle, maybe they've missed the entire topic, say sequence in series, for example, which probably takes two, three weeks to complete. Uh, I've missed that completely. Where do I even start? Well, let's see if you've got the basics here from something like IGCSE or MYP. By using the flashcard, let's fix those gaps really quickly. And then you can go into the IBSO and HL content afterwards. So if I go back to the home page here, again, these are the six key sections that you need to have. Um, there are also the study camps um, also on Revision Village. Again, you can't see that here on the options at the moment, but this certainly comes before the exam. So say you want to actually practice live uh, with a real life uh, IB expert, then that's also available again, short before the exams. Okay, that's a lot to fit into this video. Hopefully, I've given you a good insight into a lot of the key features on Revision Village. Again, expanding further and further. There's the app, of course. I haven't even mentioned that so far in this video, where you can actually use your uh, iPhone, or you can use your Samsung phone to actually work with Revision, Revision, Revision Village on your device. So that's really helpful if you're trying to do some revision on the move. Okay. Great to have you on this video. Hopefully that's given you lots of further information. Again, if you've got any questions about Revision Village, then do let me know in the comments below. Again, maybe I can give a bit more detail on certain aspects of Revision Village. Okay, see you on the next video.